A Houston couple lost their wedding ring on a beach a month ago. But a Louisiana couple digging around in the beach found it. <laughs> Fox 26 pho photographer Darlene Janik Ferris shows us the Galveston Island Treasure Club helped track down the owner. Yeah, it was the 23rd of March. We were um, renting a beach house right there off the shore for her mom's birthday. We went back to the house and like showered and everything and like I just like looked at my hand for some reason, I can't remember, and my rings were missing. And I was like, <gasps> I immediately knew that it was because I was like digging. She never the takes sand. her rings off at all for, yeah. for nothing. And we were out there all morning trying to find it. Yeah. I picked it out myself. I kept it completely secret. Oh my, oh my God. That's why I was so sad whenever I lost it. Cause yeah, it was she just cried so, yeah, I cried. It. So I was just like looking to see if there was like a, a metal detector group like in Galveston or something that I could like post. I didn't think it was going to work at all. <laughs> <laughs> we went for the weekend. We showed up Friday the 5th. And we're at the beach for like, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. We saw the cast net. I went to go dig it up. When you would grab it, everything off top of it, it would just be like shells. So I went in and I just grabbed a handful of them and I just threw them across the beach. And when I threw them, you, just see, you could just see the ring fly out with the shell. Oh and I was like, Danny, you think this is real? I'm like, okay, so this thing's actually real. This is a real diamond, a real ring, like someone's looking for this. So we put it in our bag and I saw Scott and Clyde metal detecting down the beach. This guy comes walking up to me. He says, what are you looking for? And I said, well, you know, this and that. And I was like, well, have you ever found anything like this? And I pulled the ring out and he goes, dude, that's what we're looking for. Scott went back to his truck and got his phone out, brought his phone back and showed us your post. And within an hour, they had made contact with her and they were able to get the ring, you know, we were able to get the ring back to her. And uh, just really, just a one in a million chance that this ever would have happened. Talking to, to Clyde, he's like a miracle worker because he was at the right place at the right time finding them and then just hooking us all up. And, and that's the best part of this hobby. It's not what you can keep, but it's what you can return. I just want to say thank you guys so much for actually like being good people <laughs> yeah. and returning the ring. So it's just a, such an incredible story. We have over 120,000 likes and 2.1 million views on it. We're going to have a cool story to tell our kids and everything. That's oh, yeah. what I was telling him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. one in a million. <laughs>